Hello viewers. Today I'm going to be generating video title ideas for for this channel in uh, in an automated way using technology. I'll tell you all the details. But uh but I'm glad you're here. Uh this is going to be about brewing rice wine in a uh, only a general way that it's mostly going to be about if I can get any creative ideas from this and, uh, and maybe see some funny titles. So, uh, um, again, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I publish a new video on the subject of rustic Asian rice wine every week. And uh, please share this video wherever it is appropriate. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're helping to spread the word about rustication rice wine. So um, uh, a year ago, I saw this video um, by uh, Tom Scott, uh, and uh, he got a, 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 a natural language generation system called uh, GPT-3 to generate uh, video ideas and uh, so um, it's a way to randomly generate um, text. It's a probabilistic model of natural language and uh, one of the applications for it is like for doing um, automated translation. So you've all used this kind of technology if you've just done Google Translate or something. So um, that's what uh, that's what this is and uh, uh, I don't get to use GPT-3, but I uh, I saw there's a GPT-J6B uh, just available for free. Um, I don't know when you're watching this video. There might be something uh, better available right now. I don't know, but this was free and I just uh, I just used it. So what you do is you just give it some text to start with. And I just uh, copied and pasted uh, my uh, list of uh, some... Uh, videos that I did earlier and then uh, you run it and it'll it'll continue that using using the text that it's given it'll give something that's probable as the output text let's see what it gives me here okay see these are videos that I never I never made but they're very um, they're very plausible video titles. Yeah, common problems, naming quality and standards, and the best rice to use. Those are all. Those are those are all reasonable um, titles. Okay, so I I did this over and over and collected them. I just did some editing to uh, ones that were uh, just total repetitions of uh, of videos I had already done. And uh, just in case there was anything, uh, this is randomly generated, so it it is possible to generate some rude words. Um, it, that is possible, um, but uh, these are the these are the titles I did. I'm just going to go through them and let's see if we see some good ones, some funny ones. Let's see what we what we have here. And I generated about 500 of them today, so let's go through them uh, relatively quickly. What do I have to start off with? Okay, Mockley Brewing Talk, Sewell, hashtag Sewell Korean Alcohol. Okay, that's a very normal and boring title. So that's not gonna tell me anything. Uh, that's not going to inspire creativity, but it shows that the model is working. So uh, this is Hanju. Oh, and uh, Zhao Zhou. So that's, so uh, that would mean something like scorched alcohol or burnt alcohol. I don't know. It's definitely not pronounced Hanju. The, this uh, system made it up. So this is AI technology, um, and but specifically it's text, natural language text generation. Um, so that's interesting, but I, Maybe there is such a thing as uh, scorched alcohol. Maybe I should make that scorched wine, burnt wine. Maybe I should try to make that. Um, okay, white wine, cool terroir, using some knowledge of Chinese and then some kind of, um, I guess, grain alcohol. Zwiebel uh, Mockley, uh, Mockley Brewing Experiment. That is That would be a real experiment. I, I don't know German, but I looked it up. Zwiebel is an onion. So onion mockley, I don't, uh, I don't think so. That is creative.
But in general, it's very, um, in terms of the feeling of it, it's, it's, it gets the right theme. It knows that this is a list of title, titles of rice brewing videos and it's, and it actually is very good at sticking to the theme. The titles are about the right length. They have the right kind of hashtags in there. Sometimes it's more random, more creative than others. I try different parameters, but it is pretty good at getting the right theme just from this list. What I'm going to do as we progress through here, I'm going to raise the randomness a little bit over time. So to get a little more creative. So we know it works if we have the right theme, but I'll try to get some more uh, creative output from this history of yeast and alcohol. Well, that's a good, that's a good subject. I could do something like that. So bring it home and around the world, home weave around the world. I don't know what that means. Scaling is key. Homebrewing rice wine, wandering fermentation. Homebrewing rice wine, bubbles are a thing. Okay, I like that one. I like that one. Bubbles are a thing. Stop overbrewing Mockley experiment. Mockley talk. I've been drinking Mockley for 20 years. Okay, that's an exaggeration. I have not been drinking Mockley for 20 years. Mr. Kim, I have not tasted Mockley with you. It's a matter of pride to make Korean Mockley. Okay, I like that one. A matter of pride. Okay, I should remember that. You might have noticed this kind of thing um, when doing automated translation, especially, I don't know if it was the Bing translation or the uh, or the Facebook trans translation system that they were using, especially last year or the year before, it would always get in a cycle where it was repeating itself over and over like this. Okay, strawberry mockley, I've done that. And then, okay, now it's getting extra creative. This is sort of, Misspelling Makuli Story. It's a Makuli Story. Okay, it's off track. Homebrew Makuli, the best way to drink it. Five things you should know about Makuli. Okay, this, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> the, the AI generated this. Uh, so, um, if I make a video title with this, it's just to get views just to get some some sympathy views i feel very lonely maybe that maybe that's effective maybe maybe uh gpt j 6b has that knowledge and knows how to do some clickbait titles 10 ways to improve your mockley i mean that's a, that's always a good uh, title that's a good title okay overcoming fear okay i i like this one um overcoming fear because uh I recently did a video which was overcoming the fear of fermentation, um, but uh, I so that was the title of my recent video. However, uh, when uh, when setting up this uh, when generating this text, that video was not one of the input um, titles, and I hadn't talked about that subject before. So that that's one of the tests you really can do with these uh, AI systems. You you generate it, uh, you use some uh, sub uh, sample of your of your, um, your your problem domain, your video titles, some subset to, and you see, it, you feed those into the system and you see if you get some results that match uh, actual output that uh, you, you did later. And uh, that's, what, uh, that's what happened here. So it is able to generate um, titles I actually did in the future even though it had no information about that. This system had no idea that I was going to do a, a video about overcoming fear, but but it did somehow. Okay, so that's, that's a good one. Things you should not do, sauerkraut mockley. Okay, uh, dandelion mockley. Well, that's a good idea. I had dandelion wine, dandelion mockley. That's a, that is a good idea. Some of my favorite Mockley facts. I mean, I could make a video like that. I could. Why I drink Mockley. To drink Mockley or not to drink Mockley. Um, okay. Something about milk. Okay, whatever. Uh, I drink Mockley because it tastes good. That's a, maybe that's a good title. I don't know. 
San Francisco Mockley Shootout East versus West. <laughs> okay, well this this title uh, grabbed my attention, uh, so maybe I should do something like that. A long-term video game with this rice wine. Okay, I don't. Um, okay, uh, Borrow Silica Mockley review. Borrow Silica. That's like Pyrex. Okay, that I don't. That makes no sense. Mockley talk six. Why? But why are you brewing this Mockley? It's a terrible recipe. Why are you brewing this Mockley? Okay, uh, this is a good title. It got my attention. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll remember this one. That's a good title. Uh, <laughs> okay, off track again. Confession, I was a domestic servant. How is that related to the previous line? Okay, getting creative here. Um, I was not a domestic servant. Drinking Korean rice wine. What are some reasons to drink Mockley? Well, there are so many, but that's a, maybe that's a good title. Uh, how to have life despite Mockley. Well, maybe, maybe this is relevant. Maybe this is especially relevant. Okay, I, I will listen to you, GPTJ. Talk 13, embarrassing fact about Mockley. <laughs> I don't have any yet, but maybe I can think of some. Tasty Mockley, the homebrew cocktail. Hot and sour sauce, better to not add during fermentation. True, 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 true. Oh yeah, happy Hanukkah, Korean Macau wine. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess holiday themed uh, titles are good. Um, this is a little specific with uh, Hanukkah and Macau. Now that you've come this far, okay, that that's intriguing at least. What the hell is Mockley? <laughs> okay, well, I mean that could get that could get your attention. Uh, how to make radish mockley. Um, you know, I know what, I've made radish pickles and you get a certain odor from, um, from, from radishes even in the fridge, but especially outside of the fridge, you get a certain fermentation odor, uh, which is, a, uh, which I don't think would be good, uh, directly in your beverage. Uh, radish pickles are great. But the, they do produce a certain smell as they're fermenting. I don't think this is good a good idea. Why do you need a Mockley maker? Uh, you don't. Blackout month of 2016. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll move on. Uh, why I love Mockley and can't stop? Okay, that's a good title. That's a good title. I, I might use that. I might use that. I might use that. The ultimate Mockley. That, that'd be hard to pull off. I, I don't want to say that anything is the ultimate Mockley. Special class lemon Mockley. Lemon. And, and, okay, this is a good. It actually got, got lemon. Okay, that's nice. Um, lemon Mockley. I haven't tried. Maybe I should. I, I think. I think I read uh, someone's experience with that. Okay. Yeah, this is like alchemy. It's the dark art. Simpler than kimchi. Same health benefits. Make gummies. Powdered unagi. Okay, well, not the unagi, but uh, but makgeolli gummies. That is a good idea. That That is creative. I thought of wine gums before, but uh, maybe with Changju, but Makgeolli gummies, maybe someone would like that. So this, uh, give me credit, give GPT-J credit for coming up with Makgeolli gummies. High calorie Makgeolli. Okay, well, um, th that can probably be accommodated. I, that does seem like a high calorie. Uh, Mockley conversation, a blindfold test. Mockley candidate, 16 ladies. 
I think that's clickbait. Potato makgeolli. Oh, I did make sweet potato makgeolli. Kimchi makgeolli. No, no, no kimchi makgeolli. Kimchi and makgeolli, but not kimchi makgeolli. No legal tender makgeolli. <laughs> okay, when things get tough, we'll trade, we'll barter makgeolli. Legal tender makgeolli. War like brawl over mat. Two words, sauceless. That's, that's not two words. <laughs> um, but this did get my attention. My, my Mockley videos are not so dramatic. <laughs> Subscribing to one channel would be very awesome. It would, please subscribe. Okay, I want to get something different. Cherry Mockley with Sea Buckthorn, that would be different, but too different. Rainbow Frozen Mockley, that's, that sounds intriguing. Grape Mockley, creating time machine experiment, that would get some views. Awareness of danger Mockley versus biting irritation. This is going to scare people away. Past, present, and future of Mockley. That's a good title. Oh, that's, that is Singapore. Um, that's good. Uh, good uh, Mockley in Singapore. Um, I should do that. I should go to Singapore and make this video. Double stoked hot pepper pork wood pack. Part time Mockley. You don't, you don't, you don't want a full-time hobby. Just do part-time Mockley. If we had alcohol at the time, it would have been alcohol of our times. List of things not to do. Sorghum, mango, chongju. I'm not going to be smuggling in or out of North Korea. Uh, home brewed Korean rice wine that can actually help if you're sick. Drink, <laughs> drink a human right. Okay, that's important, uh, human right. Braised tomato and udon in makgeolli. Beer and makgeolli, not the same thing at all. Correct, you got it right this time. Okay, now I'm just uh, uh, going extreme here. These are the last few. I really upped the randomness here. Uh, Tremo, Bounce, Bounce, Boom, Mockley. Here it is, Offensive Korean Carrot. Um, building a Naruk in my barn. Uh, first, I need a barn. This took too long to go through these. Maybe I'll just give you uh, the highlights. Uh, some uh, concepts here. It um, it likes, uh, okay, some uh, good thing is that it is creative. It produces things that have not ever existed before. Some phrases and titles that I never would have thought of myself. That's the positive thing uh, with this system. So maybe it can spark some creativity there. Um, um, the, one of the bad things it does, it does um, group together things that are related and it starts talking about Japanese rice wine alongside Mockley and uh, that it, um, when it says that Mockley is, is uh, Japanese rice wine, I know that uh, that's not, um, that's the wrong thing to say. And uh, I'm sorry it generated that, but it, that's what it did. Uh, because it is it is random and it did group those things together. It ended up jumping among uh, all around Asia. That's just behavior of the system and how, how it was trained with uh, really a lot of uh, 
uh, a lot of generic data from the internet. Not it's not trained on uh, not trained on Mockley at all. I'm glad it knew something, and it also um, tended to jump from Mockley to milk or yogurt to. Um, um, that was an interesting uh, association in this language generation system. Okay, now, uh, what else can I tell you? Um, I could explain more about how, um, no, but I won't. Um, I am not an expert in this technology, but I'm just glad there was a, um, a free resource on the that I can access on the internet and generate these for you today. Hopefully there's a couple that were amusing to you. I had fun doing it. I did get some ideas. And uh, all I can say is this was a long video and thank you for watching.